Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. Um, Happy New Year. <laughs> I am so excited for the new year to start. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely incredible. I have some lovely things that I have lined up for the new year. So I really hope you guys are going to enjoy that. Uh, but, um, you know, until then, I actually did a set for myself for New Year's because we're going to have a little celebration, hoping that we don't go into anything, you know, like, <clears throat> I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say any words about it, but hoping that we can still celebrate. So, I did a set ready for New Year's for myself, and I am in love with it, I really hope you guys are going to love it. And it's this, and you've probably seen it already because thumbnail and stuff. But it's, oh my god, it's so gorgeous. I love the little, um, oh my god, I forgot how they're called. Uh, you know, fireworks, there you go. And then I have a clock, then I have two little glasses. And I kept this one simple because I really thought that, you know, it's going to be nice, uh, like, together with this. And this one was supposed to be a bit more simple, but I kind of went overboard with it so yeah I just kept that on simple as well and I to be honest I really love how it looks uh, I feel like because the glasses are so small and delicate if I would have put anything else on there um, they would have just gotten lost so yeah I'm really happy with how this is oh my god look how sparkly that one is it's just so gorgeous um, so I'm gonna take you through the steps of uh, me doing this set. You'll see it's gonna be really, really easy to do and really easy to, to recreate as well. Um, and also I'm gonna show you how to do a full-on nail, full crystal nail. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys are going to enjoy today's video. And um, with all of that said, uh, let's do some nails. So I'm starting off with 10 nails and all of them are prepped and then I'm going to go in with Void from the Kirsty Meakin Gel Polish Collection and I'm going to do the middle nail first, like the middle finger nail. And I'm going to apply two layers of that Void and cure each for 30 seconds in an LED lamp. And then with white out and some shiny top coat both from the Christy Meekin Collection, I'm going to apply them to my palette obviously because that's how you mix up things on your palette that's the, like the best way to do it um, and I will use a silicone tool and I'm gonna take like the smallest drop of that white and put it in that um, shiny top coat and just mix it up um, and you know yeah just mix it up you, you see what I'm doing I mean it's it's simple it's really simple uh, then I decided to test it out on my on my glove and to see if it's pigmented enough and I decided it was not pigmented enough so I'm adding a little bit more of that white um, and I that that's gonna do it for me it's gonna be pigmented enough now to yeah yeah definitely uh, so then I'm gonna go in with the middle liner from the glitter bells and I will remove first the sticky layer because I when I'm doing like things that are not extremely, extremely detailed. Uh, I don't like to use a matte top coat just because I, I can't be bothered, to be honest. So I'm not applying a matte top coat. If I would do like a character painting, I would definitely do a matte top coat first because it's a lot easier. But with this, basically the matte top coat makes your life easier. So yeah, I just decided that my life needs to be hard, I guess. Um, and then here I'm just doing two champagne flutes as you can see and it's basically a U like the letter U and it's just filled in uh, with a flat top so it's really easy to do um, make sure that they are like elongated so that they they're nice and slim uh, otherwise they're not really champagne flutes and then I'm just dragging the, the legs I, I don't know how they're called maybe the legs of the flutes and then I'm adding the base so it's just like kind of a, a line that's a little bit thicker you know and that kind of gives you the impression that it's actually a circle there um, then I'm trying to make them kind of even everywhere uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly even because of the light hitting it it wouldn't be necessarily even uh, but he, now I'm going in with some of that gold finger from th the same from Kirsty Meekin and I am just putting some at the base and then dragging it up 
uh, in that glass just because I, I don't think you'd see um, anything like in a glass like this like yeah I, I can't talk <laughs> I don't think you would see it like completely pigmented and you know I, I think you'd see it more uh, see-through so I, I tried to mimic that then I'm going in with this Anna's nail systems uh, gel paint in white I forgot completely what I was doing right now and of course it can't be a video of mine without me being out of focus just the tiniest little bit um, and with this gel paint, because it's very, very pigmented, it's great for details, it's not great for like painting uh, large surfaces because it's gonna wrinkle, but as long as it's really, really thin, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm just giving it an outline. Uh, this outline does not have to be perfect because it would be like how the light hits the glass, you wouldn't actually see the glass you'd kind of see the light hitting the glass and you know uh, then I decided to add a bit more like highlights uh, where you know the light would hit it again uh, just there on the side and I'm just doing some lines basically it's no uh, you know real science on it or anything like that and then these glasses are done. I cured that. Then I'm gonna go in with a matte top coat and make sure that you're gonna float it. Anytime you do any kind of nail art, make sure you just float your matte top coat because otherwise you can really, really uh, damage your art and like drag the, you know, the pigment down and it's gonna look horrible. Then with the glossy top coat, I am just applying it over the glasses and that's it. I'm leaving the background matte and then as I mentioned before, I decided to just leave the glasses here on this nail. I didn't want to add anything else because then it would take away from, you know, the, the main thing, which is the glasses. And I really think that it looks so elegant like this. I, I absolutely love it. Um, so everywhere where I've put that like milky white in the beginning or in between the outline, whatever you want to, however you want to see it, but everywhere where it is glass, I added that shiny top coat because I wanted the glasses to be shiny and you can see that they stand out even more now because I added that and then this nail is done. So I'm going to move on to the pointer finger, uh, nail. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with Black Tears from Get Nailed by Laura McBride and I chose this because it's this you, you can't actually see it by the end of it but it's this beautiful black jelly gel polish with like huge chunks of silver uh, glitter and I am removing that shiny uh, surface uh, that the gel polish has because again you know it's a lot easier to paint on this and with Whiteout uh, I am just drawing kind of a half circle situation um, and I'm using my liner for this but I will be filling in in a second with the big brush from the bottle because it's a lot easier and covers a lot more surface so we're not here until tomorrow just painting one nail <laughs> it would take forever and it's yeah it's not worth it uh, then I'm going back in before I put this in the lamp with that detailer and making sure that you know there's not a lot of shadowing that kind of everything looks even um, so yeah I'm going back over the whole surface then I cured that and I'm applying a second layer of this uh, and because these I'm gonna wear them that's why I applied two layers because I, I didn't want any wrinkling or anything like that I wanted them to be cured properly so I am doing that and I'm going back in with that liner and trying to get rid of any bumpiness or anything like that. Oh, I'm running out of air. <laughs> then I'm going to use some Anna's Nail Systems in black and I'll remove the sticky layer first obviously. Um, and I will use this black to just get the details on the clock so it's I'm doing Roman numerals because it's a lot easier than to draw actual numbers because it's they have a lot of curves in them so I would have been here forever whereas this trust me it's 
10 million times easier. So I drew the 12 and the 6, and then for the 9 and for the 3, I'm just going to draw a line. And that's it. And then for the rest of the numbers, I'm just putting dots or like tiny, tiny uh, lines. And I think with the rest of the nail being so busy, um, as you'll see in a second, because I, I thought in the beginning that this is going to be really look really simple. But with the rest of the nail being so busy, I think that leaving this so simple was a great idea, in my opinion, at least. And then I decided that I needed the middle of that clock. <laughs> and with Mercury, I'm going to go in from that middle and I will drag two lines out. And they're both going to kind of point towards almost 12 o'clock because it is almost 12 o'clock because that's the whole point of New Year's. We're waiting for this special moment of 12. <laughs> and one of them is obviously going to be longer than the other because one of them is uh, the hour and one of them is the minute hand. I think they're clock hands, aren't they? And I cured that. Then I'm going in with uh, gold finger and I will apply an outline, a very thick outline um, of this whole clock. But honestly, this was useless. I, it, it looks nice and you can leave it like this if you want, but I'm not going to leave it like this and I will not have enough space to do what I had planned. So yeah, I didn't think this through, um, but it was, it was pretty again. You can leave it like that if you want. Uh, and here I'm adding an outline with the black just to kind of make it pop even more a little bit. So I'm just using uh, that um, detailer brush and the black again, and I'm doing small little strokes as you saw. And here I am doing, um, I I've put some black over those like hands as well, just to emphasize them. And then I made a mess and then I'm cleaning it up as you see. Uh, using these two brushes from Ink London, I am going to obviously use some Gem Buddy and some crystals <laughs> and some caviar beads, obviously. So I am going to apply crystals um, to the rest of the nail because, uh, yeah. I, did I mention this video that I can't talk? Because if I didn't, I would like to emphasize it now. <laughs> But yeah, you can see here, this is the reason why I say that there was no point in me doing that gold finger line, because it is just getting covered, because I didn't have any space there, and I didn't want to leave the bottom part only with the gold finger thing, I really wanted crystals all over, so yeah, there was no point in me drawing that, but maybe I gave you an idea of what you can do if you don't want to put crystals on, because I know there are some clients, and... Uh, you know, even nail technicians that absolutely hate wearing crystals, and it's fair enough. So I added a line of those um, small, I don't even know, maybe they're like SS6 or something like that, um, clear crystals. And I got these from Crystal Parade. Uh, it, yeah, it's the, the plainest crystals you can get, but I absolutely love them they really look like little diamonds and then I had this thing in mind where I wanted for like the the crystals to look like they're falling off that clock so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just adding them uh, randomly you know you see some that are still attached to the actual other crystals and some that are kind of looking like they're falling off some are closer than the other so it's really really random but I think I did succeed that look that I had in mind and I absolutely love it. And then here I'm going in with caviar beads and this took forever. But oh my god, I would not change it for the world. Caviar beads just make this like look absolutely amazing. Uh, it just made, makes everything look complete, kind of. I don't know. I, I really, really like caviar beads. <laughs> But Christ, yeah, I, I could spend hours just playing with caviar beads and at the same time I absolutely hate every time I have to apply them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it's really weird. It's very mixed feeling feelings <laughs> for them. Anyway, I am applying caviar beads wherever the uh, two crystals meet, so that's almost everywhere. Um, and you can see that I also applied some caviar beads randomly on the nail as well. Um, so yeah, it, if everything is falling off, obviously the caviar beads would be falling off as well. So that's what I had in mind. And then I decided that I needed caviar beads like on the bottom there, but I don't know if you, if I'm gonna show you or not, I can't remember. Oh yeah, I did. I actually removed them because I knew that they're not gonna stay exactly on that corner there. Um, especially because, you know, I couldn't push anything further in, so yeah, that's just crystals on the bottom there. And then I thought maybe I should make this matte, but then I uh, realized that the face of a clock would be shiny actually because it would have glass over the top of it. So I kept the whole nail matte, uh, uh, shiny, sorry. And I really like how it looks. Uh, the only bad thing is the fact that the camera can't pick it up properly. Uh, which is really annoying because the camera picks up, you know, all the shininess in between as well, so it doesn't look as neat. But if you want to do this and you want the camera to look nice, to, to, for it to look nice on camera, you know, you can do it matte. I absolutely love how this nail turned out. Honestly, it's just, I think it's gorgeous. It must be my favorite out of the whole set, definitely. And, I mean, I'm just getting started. <laughs> Then for the next nail, I'm going for the ring finger nail and I'm gonna apply two layers of that gold finger and then I'm gonna apply these shapes. Uh, I think those are zodiac shapes and then I have the zodiac crystal clear uh, or clear crystals or whatever they're called and then um, I have no idea how these are called. They're like kind of yellowish champagne and then these are, yeah, I, I don't know the names. Oh. But anyway, I looked through my things and I really liked these um, combinations and I thought that that yellow uh, really looks like the gold that I had and then I liked that the other one brought some warmth into the whole set. So I know I'm not gonna use it on any other, other nail but I really think it looks good just because I uh, added it only here, you know, so it kind of looks special pops out a little bit but then as you can see I started with the big crystals and then I'm going with some big crystals around them to keep them because you need the same kind of height um, and then smaller crystals the more we move towards the edge because the bigger if you put big crystals exactly on the edge then when you actually apply the nail is going to hurt like it could actually go into your uh, cuticles and actually be painful so you know, take it slow. This took me about, I don't know, maybe about eight minutes to apply all the crystals on this. So it, it's sped up, but it does take a long time, honestly. Um, but I'm like, oh my God, look at the sparkle. It's just so sparkly. And then in any spaces that you have empty, like here, because I had some spaces empty just at the bottom, the rest looked pretty full. I'm just adding the caviar beads and that's one of the tricks to, you know, do a full on nail, uh, find caviar beads that are kind of the same color or the color scheme that you have in that set and just apply them there and that's going to fill up the space and it's going to add that pizzazz that you need anyway. So yeah. Um, after this is done, I am faffing about with them to make sure that they're put in place wherever I want them. I'm checking all the corners as well, um, making sure that no crystals are like take, getting outside the edge of the nail. And when I was happy with that, I cured that fully, maybe even twice. That's gonna help you. Then I'm going in with some of that shiny top coat and I'm going in first on the edges of the nail. And I will just, yeah, basically drag the brush around and that's gonna add a little bit of, um, you know, it's gonna secure those crystals. And then normally I would add caviar beads at this point, but I just couldn't feel like spending another 15 minutes adding caviar beads in between each crystal. So I just added a bit of top coat and that's gonna keep 
those crystals in place because the same thing would happen with the caviar beads it would just keep the crystals in place and then yeah you can see that this nail is done and it's gorgeous then moving on to the pinky finger nail and i applied the tiff, uh, black tears uh, two layers of that and cured each obviously for 30 seconds and I removed the sticky layer I just skipped all that and here I'm going in with the silver and the gold that I used until now basically uh, gold finger and I think it's silver bells or I forgot what yeah, the silver is I completely forgot I don't think I showed it to you did I? Ah, I, I can't remember now yes I did I did because I did the, the hands of the clock with it so whatever silver I use there and then I just applied a layer of that gem body and I applied some crystals randomly on the nail and this one is gonna be a really really simple one because it's a pinky and you know not a lot of detail goes into that because um, it's small and then I'm applying some glossy top coat and I applied wherever I could I used the the big brush from the bottle and then I'm going in with the detailer brush wherever I couldn't fit that big brush. So yeah, I'm just going slowly and I'm making sure that every single crystal is secure, as you can see here, going around each and every one of them. You can kind of see if they're not secure because they have like air pockets uh, where you haven't actually touched the crystal with the uh, top coat. So yeah, make sure you do check on that. And then I will... Uh, keep this upside down a little bit to like surround those crystals even better and then I'm gonna cure this and that nail is done then I'm moving on to the thumb and I applied two layers of void on this and I will just start doing this <laughs> so I'm basically just doing some lines here uh, they don't have to be perfect like this more than anything does not have to be perfect because this is supposed to look like um fireworks so some of them have different shape then have a different shape than others um some of them like they're random they they are not in a line they're just however nature wanted them nature because they're man-made but that doesn't matter <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm just applying some uh, lines in white and I know right now that they look crazy and they do not look like fireworks, but trust me, all right? Now I'm going in with the silver and I'm doing exactly the same thing, but I'm kind of going in between those white lines. Some of them will be covered, some of them are not. So just randomly, um, and I'm gonna do that obviously on all of them. And just take my time. Uh, I'm kind of trying to follow the lines, the, the rest of the lines as well. So where, whatever direction the rest of the lines are going, I'm kind of trying to follow that. And then I did this, and this was very ugly, and I hated it. So I am going to wipe that in a second, and I'm going to fix it. Because I really ruined that middle one, and that was my favorite. So I wiped that. And now I'm just kind of bringing those back. <laughs> I, I was so angry with myself, I was like, why did I add so much? It was just too much product on my uh, brush. And then I decided to add some dots because, you know, these wouldn't, like, just be them. It would be all kind of sparkles in the sky, so I've done that. And now I'm going in with the gold finger and I'm adding some of blinds with that as well. And you can see that the gold finger does not look as pigmented as the silver, so... It's even better because the the less glitter you have, like the end of that line, the more it looks like it just shimmers and it's like, you know, sparkly and the, the sparkles are like dying in the air. It's, oh, I love fireworks. They're so gorgeous. So, yeah, I'm doing that as well. You can do this with all kinds of colors. So don't think that you only have to do this with silver and gold. Um, I just wanted to do silver and gold because the whole set was basically silver and gold, so I thought it's gonna be, you know, weird if I would do a very colorful one. And then I added some dots there as well, and then I went in with that white again just to add a bit more dimension because this is all what we did until now, we just added dimension over dimension, so... Just to add a bit more dimension, I'm adding some more white uh, to break up all of that sparkle to you know you, you see what I'm doing 
so yeah, I'm doing exactly the same thing basically. I'm following the direction of the lines with that white. Uh, make sure that they are thin so don't do thick lines because I'm using here the gel paint if you'd use like gel polish or whatever you could do thicker lines I just wanted the gel paint because I knew that's not gonna disappoint in the you know in how pigmented it is and then I added some dots with that white as well why not because you know we had everything else so we could have that as well and then I'm going to apply a layer of top coat and hold it upside down because we added a lot of texture to this nail and I'm gonna go in with the second layer of top coat you could do this with like base coat and top coat as well and yeah this nail is done and they are done now and I am in love with them like honestly I don't think I've ever ever had a set this beautiful for New Year's um, because I usually just kind of, you know, go all crazy on Christmas and then I'm like on New Year's, I don't even bother much. I kind of just paint them black and that's that. <laughs> so doing them like this this year, oh, I cannot wait to put them on. They're so gorgeous and sparkly and beautiful and they have everything I always wanted. Crystals <laughs> and glitter. <laughs> But uh, yes, they, they are all done and you can see that I've done, you know, um, two sets of five, obviously, because I have ten nails and um, I love every single one of them. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are going to have a fan fantastic new year. Um, and yeah, as I said before, I'm not going to post on Saturday because it's, you know, going to be after New Year, so I, I'm not going to be able to. Um, but I will post next Wednesday again um, and you know we go back to our normal schedule with Wednesday and Saturday posting every single week uh, so yeah you know if you want to see more of my uh, creations you can always subscribe to my channel and if you do like it like my videos and you know comment down below it really helps me out and uh, yeah okay anyway i rambled a lot uh you guys have a happy new year and i will see you in the next one okay bye